Lawyers and police officers have read it. What is the dumbest reason you've seen someone get arrested? Someone in my town crashed into a telephone pole and took out the power. The road was closed off while things were sorted out. One lady decided she couldn't take the long way home and crashed into the same telephone pole. She was arrested for drunk driving. Not me but when my husband was arrested. He was out on his boat fishing and forgot his life jacket in the truck. Game warden wrote him a ticket, told him he didn't have to appear in court and to come to the courthouse on the date, listed to pay the ticket. Cool. No big deal. The day came for my husband to pay the ticket. He was in the area for work, so he figured he would pop in instead of driving back out there about 45 minute drive. He went in to pay the ticket, gave it to the girl, so she could process it, and she said, you can't pay this. There is a warrant out for your arrest. My husband was extremely confused and no one would say anything to him about what was going on. A 60 year old sheriff came over and handcuffed him. While the sheriff was walking him across the road to the jail, he finally explained it to my husband. There was a warrant out, because he failed to appear in court. Remember, the game warden said he didn't have to appear in court and even checked on the ticket, that he did not have to appear. My husband told the sheriff that, and the sheriff knew. He also knew this particular game ward according to the sheriff, this was not the first time this had happened. I ended up bailing him out, and he was on probation for a year. Oh god, where to start, the $30 worth of knickknacks someone stole from Walmart, the guy who robbed the gas station down the road from his grandma's, where the teller recognized his voice, and called him out by name, the assault with a weapon, where the weapon was a frozen poultry, my personal favorite, or the nurse who decided to use her client's debit card as petty cash, probably the last one. Woman was 5 years from retirement, and will never work as a nurse again. Not my arrest but someone on my job. Got a call from an individual staying in one of the hotels stating he thought he saw a man with a gun on the third floor. The whole squad rolls over there and clears the hotel. No gunman found. Turns out the guy who called was just high off and was seeing shoot. So the hotel manager asks the guy to leave. He reluctantly does so. An officer and one of the SGTS are there to waiting help escort the man out of the hotel while he gathers his belongings. This man was about to leave when he lifts up the mattress and grabs his crack pipes and a couple of crack rocks. Right in front of the officer and sergeant. Promptly placed under arrest. Congratulations, you played yourself. Work for a smaller county. Last fall we got a group of people coming me down from a nearby city to rob a hemp farm thinking it was weed growing along the highway. Several of the crack team of bandits were arrested and lodged. The kicker is it was explained explicitly how dumb it was that you can't even get high of the stuff, but the very next weekend they came back down and tried to pull it off again. Only this time the farmer was home and ended up holding them all at gunpoint till we arrived. Not me, but my grandma was a lawyer. She had to defend someone who stole from a store in a city in Hungary around midnight. The only reason they got caught was because they used some matches to light up the place and that set the fire alarm off. As if that wasn't enough, a few weeks later in court, my grandma tells the judge to look at the kid, how young he was, and that he couldn't have been strong enough to break open the door or carry something outside and steal it. At this point the defendant stands up, points at his muscles and shouts hell yeah I could. That's basically when my grandma gave up. As far as I know he got a few months in prison. Underage kid he was 20, I think, who has been drinking, and still has the beer on him, decides has hungry. He goes into a mini mart and hides the beer in his pocket, so that no one knows has been drinking. Goes to buy his snacks and the clerk notices that this kid has tucked extremely noticeable beers into his pocket. Clark calls the cops and tells them that the kid was shoplifting beer. The cops actually believed the kid's story, but arrested him anyway for underage drinking. He spent the night in jail. We never arrested him, but I investigated a fraud where a guy called our department that issue licenses to captain oil tankers etc. When they told him he didn't have enough evidence of previous sea experience, he literally emailed in a photograph of him sat at his computer forging a sea service testimonial for his last company, and asked is this okay. 
I was part of our law enforcement unit, and we agreed we needed to ask Parliament to add a new merchant shipping offense for being a total freaking idiot. I was a seasonal officer at a beach resort. One day I was stuck in the substation working on a bunch of reports, when I hear another seasonal officer and a senior officer get dispatched to a hotel for unknown reasons. Two hours later, and I'm still doing paperwork in fairness I took a break for lunch and both of the officers come in with arms full of large brown paper evidence bags, like the two feet tall ones you out grocer is in. They start pulling out the most varied amount of drugs I've seen ever. Something like two large vacuum bags of good weed not the dry shoot two pages of LSD tabs a gallon bag of shrooms and a bunch more. Apparently this 19 year old had come to the beach to deal. He had paid for a few nights at this hotel. Well he missed his checkout time and the hotel needed the room. So the housekeeper let herself. She undid the covers and found this buffet of drugs. The kid ended up showing up while the officers were searching his hotel room, and they got him. Not a cop or a lawyer, but I knew a guy in high school who got arrested for impersonating a police officer, and pulling over a real life off duty cop who also happened to know him from high school, and found him pretty easily because of that. There was a new story in Denmark recently, a guy had stolen the customer hand sanitizer from a pharmacy, after he picked up his prescription drugs. Because of his prescription they easily identified him. Police called him and asked him to return it. He refused so they had to pay him a visit, seize the hand sanitizer, and also arrest him. My dad once got arrested because he didn't believe the cop in Savis was a real cop. So he slapped him. Turns out he really was a real cop. I used to work at a juvenile detention center. We had a local police department bring in a 10 year old boy for hitting his house with a broomstick. I'm from a small town, and once this stupid guy decides to rob one of the small grocery stores in town. This idiot apparently didn't have a car as he decides his jet away transport would be a train as the train station is close. Keep in mind this is a small town, where a train comes by every 30 minutes, so not the best idea for a quick escapule the grocery store calls the police who have no problem finding this guy. Why? The train station is literally on the other side of the road from the grocery store. My sister was a legal assistant for a while, when she was in school. She went to a hearing with her lawyer and the judge asked the defendant, and how much marriage Joanna did you have on you? To which the defendant responded oh no your honor, it was cocaine. Not entirely sure how that got messed up, but the judge apparently gave the look of how freaking stupid are you. Currently with the stay at home policy in France, when you need to get out for a valid reason for groceries, Dr. ETC you need to print out a form with your details name, address, reason you're going out etc. Some guys did rob a place, and forgot their form at the place they robbed with all their details. Police found them pretty quickly. Back in my first year of uni a guy in halls who was the biggest drug he ever got super high and called the police because someone in his flat has lots of drugs and was selling them. What the frick. A long time back this guy'd known for a long time and rolled with before invited us to his house to candy flip. We went and it was me, my best friends who were a couple and then the guy's girlfriend. We were having a great time. But the guy was acting really weird, giving me a really bad feeling. He was mumbling about crazy stuff about when he was in the army, and needing a man in uniform. Then his roommate got home, and he just started losing it. Telling us all we needed to leave. The couple just wanted to ignore it, but I got my shoes on, and told them we were leaving. The roommate called us a cab, and we were waiting on the porch when two police cars rolled up. This dude had Khaled Neen one Onin told them he was being held against his will in his own house. The rumored talked to the cops and just said we'd been drinking and the guy was having a meltdown. That's when our cab pulled up and the cops let us go. The walk to the cab was so long and I kept expecting the cops to stop us but we got in and rode away. That was the most terrified I have ever been. I know how annoying it is when people do this, but I'm not a lawyer or a police officer, but I do know the dumbest crime I've ever heard of. My dad's helmet from university. A young man, walking home from a night out, passed a bus depot, and decided to take a bus for a spin, help people get home etc. 
Upon return to the bus depot, he was arrested on a few charges including drink driving, endangering the public, and a weird form of theft as he returned it without prompting. Following the charges, he was released awaiting trial, likely going to receive a nasty slap on the wrist, some fines, maybe a short prison stay, and a suspension of his driving license. Not long before the trial, he needed a good night out with friends, and he walked home past that same bus depot, it was just too tempting. He served two years. I work in police dispatch, you would be surprised how many people with warrants call and request officers to come to their house for unrelated things. Guess they just assume the officer won't run them. Edit, my favorite instance of someone shooting their self in foot was just a couple weeks ago though. Someone calls up and says that another mom at the park is screaming street her kids and would like an officer to come talk to her. I smiled to myself, told the woman I would get someone headed over. Officers got on scene and sent everyone home because the park is closed due to COVID. Not arrested but I gave someone an unnecessary ticket. I drove past two girls on a sidewalk and one was holding a beer can. I backed up and pulled up next to them but now the beer was gone. I ask the girl where it went and she denies having a beer. I tell her to get it and dispose of it. She tells me she's 22 anyway. I respond great, no reason to get in trouble for alcohol, just go get the can and properly dispose of it. She denies it again. Again I tell her to just throw it away. Her friend tells her just go get it. She still denies ever having a beer. I walk a few feet back to where I saw the man surprise. There's a beer can on the ground. She got an open container ticket at 22 and a warning for littering. The worst part is, after she got the ticket she asks what if I was holding it for my friend, because she's not 21. I tell her I wouldn't throw my friend under the bus, since she was the one in possession when I saw them, so it wouldn't have mattered. She still didn't seem to grasp that nobody had to get in trouble if she just picked it up. Lawyer. Client was arrested because he got drunk one night, headed home forgetting he had just moved out of this particular house. Confused when his key didn't work, but too drunk to realize his mistake. Smashed a window to get in. Ate some chips, then realized his mistake when he noticed all the furniture that wasn't his. He was charged with break and enter, and larceny for eating the chips. Had one of our state troopers bring a guy into the county jail for failure to yield at green light. It was a $20 ticket, but the guy kept telling the trooper to arrest him, so he did. Dude cried like a baby when he got booked in. Trooper called his bluff. He got out in about 6 hours. N. A former co-worker got a speeding ticket, called to pay the ticket. Person on the other end there was no record of any citation for him. After a few minutes of back and forth, the person insists he does not have a ticket. A few months later gets pulled over again. After an investigation it turns out the person on the phone had misheard the information my co-worker had given them. He paid the ticket, and they let him leave. Not police, but a guy I knew fell over onto a police officer, who thought the guy was attacking him, he got arrested. Sensibly, no charges were pressed, and the cop ended up buying the guy pizza to apologize. Obligatory not a lawyer or a cop, but my Finn K is a cop in a major US city. One of his fellow very overzealous officers arrested a homeless guy on Christmas Day because he fell asleep in the park. The park closed at 11pm, so he broke the law. Yeah, everyone gives the officer shoot for it still to this day. I'm a firefighter, and I was at a fire slash arson slash domestic violence kind of scene. Dude had piled all his old lady's stuff in and around the fireplace and set it all on fire. He was with the cops after we had put out the fire and was explaining the situation. He told the cop he was intending to burn up her stuff and burn down the house. The cop patiently explained to him that setting her stuff on fire in a fireplace was one thing, but trying to burn down an occupied house was something completely different, and would the gentleman like to clarify and possibly revise his statement. The guy repeated that he was trying to both burn up the stuff, confined to the fireplace, and also to burn the house down with the minute. 
The cop explained again the difference between the two offenses and again requested clarification, but our hapless offender stood by his story. At this point the officer read a short statement from a card he carried in his pocket, and then requested a much more official and legally binding version from the resident. Said resident patiently and obstinately explained that he was trying to burn down the house and all the stuff and couldn't be more clear in his explanation if the officer won't listen to him. I got called on the case a couple times and the guy ended up with 12 years in the Florida prison system. Maybe possibly PMITA prison, but probably just regular old play cards and wonder why cops are stupid prison. Not my story, but my grandfather's faintly remember, so some details will be left out in was around the 1970s in NH my grandpa responded to robbery, and when they got there no one was there, so they started to investigate the scene, when they went around back, and saw a guy in all black just chillin' digging through the trash, and asked what he was doing, he said I'm looking for my friends and my grandpa asks him he if he needed help finding his friends and the guy said yes so not more than five minutes later the guy called out into the woods and had two other men in all black come out and you'll never guess it but they are the ones that robbed the place and all went to jail because of their dumbest friend they didn't get arrested but it's related a couple friends of mine in college sold the hardest crack of all magic the gathering cards they ran the school's club, and so they were charged with taking the club money, going out to shops, and buying loads of cards for the drafts. Nothing illegal in the slightest. Well, for some reason or another Theed long ago gotten into the habit of referring to the cards as product. A huge draft was coming up, and they were discussing in their room the logistical challenges of obtaining so much product, properly distributing the product to all the buyers, etc. Like, half an hour and they get a knock on the door. The rat of the floor says so. I'm pretty sure you guys are just silly, but we've got to check your room. Theed had a window open and people could hear the conversation, so Theed reported them to campus police. They had a good laugh as Campo searched the room for drugs, only finding magic cards. Not a cop but an EMT. It was one of the few times I was working in the city, and I got dispatched to a drunk guy lying in the street unconscious. I get there, and he's absolutely not unconscious. He's just rolling around shouting random abuse at people, but does have a cut to his head. I have no idea how he got this cut, or what's happened to him. So I approach him at roughly the same time to cops turn up due to all the shouting. I try and ask him what's wrong. He just tells me to frick off. The cops tell him to stop swearing, or he'll be arrested. I ask how he got the cut on his head, he says frick you that's how, again the cops say stop swearing, or you're gonna get arrested, I'm like okay well can I at least check you over just in case, you're hurt I cold probably left, after he told me to frick off, but if has been punched, or has fallen, and hit his head there's a chance he has an injury, he starts into a big rant calling me a freaking canter posse, and saying has gonna freaking kill me, sure enough, he was arrested, Perhaps not the dumbest reason compared to others here, but it's dumb as there was no need for it, he wasn't mentally unwell, he had no head injury, he was just a pretty rich drunk 20 year old who had gone out drinking with his friends, and was trying to act cool. He was also warned twice not to swear, and then the very next word out of his mouth, was a swear word. In my opinion the cops were pretty chill giving him three chances, I'd imagine others world have arrested him after the first time. And yeah, the swearing doesn't offend me, but this was in a busy street in a busy city with a lot of kids and families around. In a quieter place he probably wouldn't have got arrested. My BL and his friends were arrested for stealing helium balloons. Stoned, dropping my sister home, they say a car sales lot with loads of helium balloons on display. They went home, got some scissors, came back and started taking balloons. The police turn up and separated them. One friend asked why. The police responded, so you don't starburst. Run off in different directions the friend asked, like this, and proceeded to do star jumps jump up and down, spreading your arms and legs out each jump. The police laughed at him, and made them tie the balloons back, then let them go. Defense attorney here, had a client who got pulled over for having a headlight out or something. 
Watching the body cam footage from his arrest, the cop was talking to him, and asked why he smelled weed. Client goes oh it's probably this joint here, and hands the thing to the cop. <laughs> Lawyer here. I know I'm late to the party, but when I first started I was shocked how many people commit crimes, while on a GPS ankle monitor for the last crime they committed. I was 17 and my friend stayed the weekend at my place. Apparently he ran away, and his parents reported it. They knew me and loved me. Had they known their son was with me, it would have been okay. Cops end up at my house knowing my friend is there. They are there to arrest me for harboring a runaway. My mom comes out, and says this is her house, and she knew the whole time said to arrest her. They said no we want your son. I was arrested, and got an ibund. Went to court, and they dropped the charges, because my friend's parents didn't show up. Taxpayers money hard at work.